Welcome back. So to start working with Firebase, well, you have to create an account on Firebase. And it's pretty much just a Google account. I have my account here for Google. So if you have a Gmail, anything like that, you can pretty simply sign up to Firebase. I don't want to spend time there. It's very simple. Go into the Firebase Google Com. It's in the description. And just sign in, create an account, right? When you're signed in, you'll be on this page. And you can actually go to the console here. Now, that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go to the console. So I'm pressing this guy and I'm going to the, my console in Firebase. Let me just zoom in a bit. Now, I have a few projects already. You might have a blank page here. So we're going to create a new project here. And we're going to give it some kind of name. And of course, ours is going to call CP2. Let's just call it CP2 REST. Now, there's not allowed to be any under, yeah, any kind of weird casing. So you have to figure that out yourself. Okay. I'm residing in the dear world of Denmark, so that's what I'm going to put in here, and then I'm going to create the project, and just give it a second. So my project is up and running, you should see something like this. We have authentication, database, storage, hosting, hada, hada, hada. so many great things that Firebase is actually providing for you out of the box, of course for free, with limitations. If you wanna do something crazy, you might have to pay for it, but just in the beginning, almost all of it is actually free. Uh, let's just start out by going to the authentication. Right now we don't have any users and we're going to start out there next lesson where we're going to try and create our first user and prepare ourselves for actually locking into Firebase. See you in the next lesson where we'll look at that. Have fun.